What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness and in today's video, I'm just gonna run you guys through my little routine in the morning. So what you're gonna need, if you have, if you have dumbbells, it's okay too, right? Uh, but a pair of dumbbells and a elastic band. Now, I have these bands here, they're called assisted uh, pull-up bands, right? If you don't have these, uh, you could always get a, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a, a, a tire. You know, a not a car tire, but a bicycle t tire, right? The inside, the chamber, uh, not the chamber, but is that what you call it? Like, you know, the not the one that's outside, but the inside part. So you, do, you could use that as a band too, right? And what I'm going to do is two kettlebells, right? 20 pounds I have right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to a push-up position, right? With my hands on the kettlebell, do a push-up pop my legs back into the center, right? Do a suitcase type of deadlift, right? So suitcase deadlift, meaning that I'm deadlifting it with the weight on the side. And then from there, I'm gonna curl it. Then I'm gonna bring it off to the side here. And I'm gonna press it. Then I bring that back down, release it, right? Drop the weight, go back into a push-up position, do a push-up and so on. I'm gonna do a hundred of those, right? Now I won't do all hundred in this video because you know, that might, the video might last like 30 minutes. <laughs> But, and then in between, like, let's say I get to 20 and I'm tired or 10 or whatever, then I'm going to do my band pulls. So the band pulls here, you grab it like this and go like that for your back, right? And I'm going to mix it in with, so these ones here where I'm right in front and I'm pulling. And then from here, there you go. So I like to get a lot of pulling in my routine because I'm a judo guy and uh, martial artists. So pulling is really important, right? Pulling, pulling, pulling. And uh, you know, the truth is, I've mentioned this before, the back is for go, the front is for show. So you gotta train your, your legs, in my opinion, a lot more, and your back a lot more, right? Than the front. Like uh, that's why I don't have a huge chest because I don't really care about having a huge chest. It's not my, I'd rather have huge legs, huge glutes, huge back, huge shoulders, huge arms, you know, huge arms are actually useful, like, you know, to, to pull, to push, right? And, uh, and shoulders, of course, and the chest, well, it, it's, it's there, but it's not a priority. I'm not looking to have a big chest. In my opinion, it actually uh, gets in the way of uh, fighting. Like if you look at all the fighters in the UFC, MMA, even in sports and stuff like that, no, not a, like most of them don't have a huge, like some of them have, right? But I mean, it's not an important thing if you're a martial artist, right? Or if you just want to get in shape and, and function. So you want to have strong legs, strong back, strong shoulders, you know, strong core, and uh, that's it. Okay, so let's get this started. Uh, you guys see me here? Wait, let me just put it right here. Okay. And of course, if I do 20 of them, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper so I can keep count, right? I'm not going to keep count of it in my mind. I'm just going to write it down. And then, you know, it has to add up to 100. So at the end of the, uh, the whole workout, I'm going to do 100 of these and then 100 band pulls, right? And then at night when I go jogging with my dog, I, uh, there's this little uh, place where I go and it, the tree's a little bit lower. There's a branch and I jump on the branch and I pull, I pull. I pull a lot more than I push, okay? And trust me, it's, 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 the better, it's a better thing. Okay, let's go. So right here, push up. Jump here, deadlift this, curl this up, press. Oh shit, I just hit the light. So I'm gonna step here, and then from here, right? Bring it back down, jump back into position. That's one. Two. Get rid of this. Three. Six, seven, 
Okay, so that was a little bit ambitious. Forget 100, let's call it 50. Okay, so I did 15 there. And you guys might have noticed that I don't jump back with both legs. Actually, when I jump back, I jump back both, both feet at the same time, but I'm not going that fast. And then when I jump back in, I tend to jump back in one leg at a time, right? And the reason for that is because if I'm coming down doing into a push-up position with the kettlebell being like this, I mean, it's not very stable. So I gotta be careful not to, not to fall over, not the kettlebell to fall over and then get hurt, right? So you see right there, that's 15 already. Oh, not already, but only 15. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I'm gonna write that down now. The kettlebell thing, I did 20, oh, 15, sorry. Band pulls 20. So you know what I'm gonna do? The band pulls, I'm gonna do 100 of them. And the, this little combo thing, uh, burpee type of curl type of press. Well, I'm gonna do that uh, 50 times. I mean, that's enough. And um, that's it for this video, guys. And you see, my heart's pumping. I'm talking at the same time. I mean, this is another option. You know, you do some type of a, a circuit type training. So you can do two exercises, three exercises, five exercises, uh, back to back. But I like to keep my stuff really simple. So, you know, and then I change it up because I'm gonna do it every day. I'm gonna do some type of workout every day. And I like variety. But at the same time, I don't complicate myself too much, right? Uh, I do what I have to do, right, to stay in shape and of course to, to, uh, to train for performance, for my injuries, you know, hit the muscles that are super important when you're grappling and, you know, fighting, kicking, martial arts, right? But that's it, I'm not concerned about size. Funny thing is, uh, a lot of friends I have, you know, they're, these guys are bigger, right? They're into bodybuilding and stuff like that. They're all worried about gains, losing their gains and all that. I actually don't care. I'm not that big to begin with. I'm 150 pounds, about 5'8", right? And I'm at about 8% body fat. I'm not worried about getting big, you know? Um, of course, it's harder to get stronger without having weights, but it's very doable. You just have to adjust the exercises to make them harder, use, uh, uh, use leverage, right? Like for example, what I mean by leverage is without getting too technical, because I for, honestly, sometimes the details, they don't matter. I understand them and all that. I studied all that because I'm a personal trainer. But like, for example, uh, you know, doing a push-up, right? Push-ups get easy. Well, guess what? You could do, you could work on your one-arm push-ups, right? Stuff like that. For squats, where you could do pistols, you know? And there's all kinds of stuff uh, that you could progress your way, uh, you know, towards being stronger and all that, pound for pound strength anyway. Okay, when uh, even if you don't have a gym equipment or if you have very minimal equipment. And um, that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like the video if you liked it. Subscribe, comments below. What do you guys do for your workouts? If there's any kind of workouts you guys want me to cover, uh, you know, with, I have not a lot of equipment, but I do have some dumbbells, kettlebells. I got bands, uh, assisted pull-up bands, bands, uh, tube bands, you know, stuff like that. So if you guys have... Uh, workout you guys want me to show you with that then you know we could always um, put, the, put it in the comments below and I'll, I'll see what I can do if I can do it uh, yeah I'll show you guys what I would do if I had that type of equipment right well of course I have to have it too but yeah all right guys thank you very much for watching see you in the next one peace